psycho kidnapped you and three other people you your enemy's child your boss or your ex oh no this is a hard situation to be in and locked you in the room with no exit the house will explode in 30 seconds you may hide in these shelters and survive but there are only three shelters you must decide who will die who would you leave behind i wouldn't leave my enemy's child because he's not really done anything to me so maybe ah i don't want to be my ex i don't know i don't who would you guys leave behind you can save all of you because i think you and your enemy's child can both hide in one the boy is slim enough to fit in with your ex okay guys okay that that can work i guess so the boss would go in one your ex and the kid would go in the other one and you can go in the other one so they can save all of you so i'm yeah i'm guessing i chose the wrong answer but you guys can save all of you so i guess that's fine three friends met after christmas at a cafe they all had vacation stories to share dave this guy does not look like a dave <laughs> dave went to a ski resort nick went to thailand to with his family thailand okay thailand <laughs> but carter had the most interesting one he said he went to the north pole hmm. nick and dave didn't believe him but then Carter showed them a photo. Dave looked at it and quickly said, "Also, it does not look like a Dave." Now I'm absolutely sure you're lying, Carter. Okay, he's he's Pinocchio now. Why did he say that? Is it something with the sunlight or something? Um, I'm not sure. Why do you guys think he's lying? I think he's lying because sunlight is actually a little bit too bright for the North Pole, so I don't believe him. I'm guessing it's the sunlight. Woo! yes the sun never rises in the winter at the north pole i'm right guys it's dark almost 24 hours a day that's the thing about that's the thing about the north pole if you guys are going to go to the north pole make sure you bring some flashlights because it's going to be very dark who has a girlfriend okay so this guy is shaving his beard off and oh there's oh there's an extra toothbrush here so this guy right here is the one who has a girlfriend this guy is single he's a single guy this guy has an extra toothbrush that's probably his girlfriend oh the second toothbrush i was right who has a girlfriend here so this one is really challenging Oh, I can see a bra over here. Yeah, he has the girlfriend. Easy. Easy. I don't need even 10 seconds for that. It's this guy right here. There's a bra right there. <laughs> the power was out all over the town. Jim was in the hospital that day. He had to be out soon. When the power was back on, Jim's nurse entered the room and found Jim stabbed to death. Oh no. The police questioned the suspect, the nurse, the cleaning lady, do the doctor, and Jim's wife. I was in the doctor's lounge until the power was on. I was having tea in the staff room. Okay, I'm a little bit suspicious of the cleaning lady. How is how do you make tea if there was power out? I was speaking to a patient and I was buying food at the vending machine. I know who did it. It's Jim's wife because how did you get like food from the vending machine if there was a if there was a blackout because if the vending machine isn't working there's no way we can get food so i'm guessing it's jim's wife is it jim's wife yes the machine is powered by electricity it's jim's wife i knew it jim's wife killed jim oh no she couldn't have been buying food so it's obviously jim's wife james and molly have been married for five years but they haven't taken a vacation yet which is very sad finally they decided to go to the ocean to get there they have to cross the border you have to tell me the password if you want to pass what's the password um so bench tree and apple bta bta is it bta bta i'm guessing it's bta one two three so oh oh i didn't think of that okay okay so it's the three trees uh no six trees three benches and there's one apple so it's three six one why did i think it was bta i'm so dumb annie steals jewelry from rich ladies so she's a thief today she's put on some stolen earrings and come to a restaurant suddenly she noticed two policemen following her but they don't know what annie looks like who is annie um so it can't be this one because she stole earrings okay guys it's definitely her okay guys because she stole the earrings so it's definitely her i'm definitely saying it's annie wait if she noticed there were two policemen following her oh oh i know it's her it's her because she definitely hit them once she noticed the police were following her it's her it's this third lady right here because she wouldn't be wearing the earrings if she knew that the police were following her so this is annie this last woman is annie so glad i got that one she hid the earrings into the bowl because she knew that they were following her anna is a wanted criminal on the run she needs to change her appearance i'm not helping out a criminal over here a good haircut could make her unrecognizable hmm, she wants to become a blonde now okay there are two hairdressers in the town maggie owns a dirty salon and her hair is a mess oh i think i think i know this riddle lily runs a luxury and spotless salon her haircut is perfect and <laughs> the prices are much lower which one should anna choose I think I know this should. I've seen this little somewhere. So I think she should go to Maggie. 
hear me out guys because my since there are only two hairdressers in the town they have to go to each other to get their hairdressers done so when she goes to this other woman right here she does it horribly and when she goes to maggie maggie does her hair perfectly so i'm guessing she should go to maggie because maggie does her hair perfectly just hear me out guys i've seen this riddle before count the times i'm a master detective over here you should go to maggie's salon because since they're the only two they have to go to each other it was maggie who made lily's haircut so i'm guessing you should go to maggie that's what you guys should do a lot of people stay at the aquamarine hotel kate checked in yesterday she got big news last week she won four million dollars in the lottery oh my gosh that is that is a lot of money she was all over tv and social media she was even interviewed she told the whole country about herself she grew up without her parents oh that's sad she still doesn't know where they are she said she was going to celebrate in style very nice at the aquamarine hotel after that three women showed up to the hotel each claimed to be kate's mother ah oh, no these guys are gold diggers no <laughs> mr parker saw that poor kate was confused he decided to help her who is kate's mother this is a man <laughs> this over here is a man did kate have any tattoos because i'm guessing this is okay yeah it's definitely kate. this is kate's mom i'm guessing this is kate's mom it looks like the third woman is kate's mother but is she maybe she just drew that on of course we need a dna test oh she does have the mole as well the fourth woman is a man obviously and this is just a gold digger though these two just gold diggers okay she has an out <laughs> The second woman is very nice, but she's probably not Kate's mom. So I'm guessing it's this third woman right here. We kill and we give life. We are either poison or fruit. You choose. What are we? What is this riddle? Someone please explain what this riddle is. We kill and we give life. We are either poison or fruit. You choose. What are we? What? The answer. Oh, that's actually a pretty good riddle. I absolutely get behind that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos just like this one, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications. Since I enjoy doing riddles so much, I'm going to cut down to one riddle video a week. So if that's what you guys want to see, make sure you drop the video like, subscribe down below. And uh, if you want to see more videos just like this one, click here to watch my playlist. Click here to watch a video specifically catered to you by the YouTube algorithm. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.